Good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Today with my Iko-chan Ikoka mug. Um, today, I thought I would talk about what it's like being an alternate um, on the JET program. And not because I was an alternate, but because I have had um, a variety of people I know come in as alternates. In fact, both of the predecessors that came before me when I was a JET were alternates as well. Um, and also early arrivals. So let's talk about alternates and early arrivals. So if you're an alternate JET, that means that you weren't originally shortlisted, but you got um, put on a list. And then um, partway throughout the process, um, you got a, um, sent an email that said you were upgraded. Um, so what does that mean? That means for some reason your application was good enough. Um, but when it got sent to Tokyo, um, you didn't get placed. So you have to then wait. Um, but in many, many cases, alternates get upgraded. Um, so it's kind of a hard way to sit. Um, but most of the people who I've talked to have been alternates um, said they set a deadline for themselves. So usually you find out in April if you've been accepted or not by April or if you're made an alternate. Um, in normal years, usually you find out um, by August because people drop in and cancel right up until they leave. Um, usually you find out by then if you've been upgraded. So I know a lot of people who um, were waiting to f apply for other jobs and they said they gave themselves a deadline, whether it was July 1st or August 1st. And they said, if I don't hear by X date, then I'm going to take the next step or make the other choice. So it sucks, but give yourself a deadline. Um, next, what do you do if you do get upgraded? If you do get upgraded, you just decide whether or not you want to come. Some people decide that, yes, they do still want to come. And others have passed that deadline or decided that they'd rather do something else. Um, if you do decide to come, you just join and you come just like everybody else. You don't have to tell everybody, hey, I was an alternate. And you don't have a special name tag that says, I was an alternate. You just join like everybody else. Um, and that's it. If you are an alternate and you don't get upgraded, you can either reapply the next year, um, or you can just leave it. And anytime throughout the course of that year, you could get upgraded or you just say, nope, no, thank you. I'm done with that. It really depends on how you want to approach doing it and the program itself. Now, what do you do if you're an early arrival or if you come in at a weird time? Um, I have worked with three different early arrivals and also two different people who have come in at different times of the year. And I'll say right now, um, it ain't a big deal. One of the reasons it's not a big deal is because, well, let's talk about early arrivals. For early arrivals, it means you come in April which is actually the beginning of the Japanese school year. So when you show up at your school, it's only a few weeks after all of the other new teachers got there as well, because you usually come in in the middle to the end of April. And quite often the students haven't expected to see their ALT yet. Anyways, so you're coming in at the perfect time. Um, next, what if you come in at some other random time during the year? That's fine too, because regular placed jets that uh, aren't early arrivals come in in August, which is like right in the middle of the school year. It's at the beginning of the second semester. So the kids are like, oh, hey, hi, new person. Like, it's not a big deal. Additionally, teachers, because of um, family emergencies or life changes or, you know, emergencies, like, they come and go throughout the year as well. So it's just another person coming into the school. It's, it's not a big deal. So don't stress it. 
I mean, when you were in school, wasn't there ever a teacher who, you know, got sick and had to leave for a couple of months or a teacher got pregnant and had to leave and another teacher came? I mean, that, that kind of stuff always happens. And then other people come in. So um, if you're coming in at a random time in the year, it means the jet before you had to leave for some reason. Um, so don't sweat it. Just come in and roll. Um, nobody's going to be like, oh, my God, you're here at a weird time. Like, <laughs> It's no big deal. Um, so, yeah. Don't worry about it. So if you're an alternate and you get in, just be super happy you got in. And if you're an early arrival, well, that's perfect. You're coming in right in April. I mean, if you're coming in at any other time during the year, it's all good, dude. Just uh, enjoy it. Have a good time. And um, have fun at your school. Yeah, that's it. No stress. <laughs> all right. Have a good morning. Have good coffee. And uh, see you on the next video. Man, <sighs> my brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think. 